All right, Capricorn, I was meditating on your energy and I was feeling like there's been some kind of a painful ending, whether this was yesterday or years ago. You have experienced some kind of a painful ending and I feel like it's been lingering or it's something that's been taking a lot for you to get over. Um or heal from or come to terms with um, that that ending had happened and it and ouch it, it definitely was a painful one um, and even in uh, like other relationships moving forward I feel like you just carried that with you um, and I feel like now finally finally um, in your pre shuffle I saw the sun and the star card all right they were glaring right at me so I feel like you're at the end of that, like you've accepted it, you finally are able to put that situation behind you and move forward, all right? And I feel like you're coming into a time right now where you're just going to be happy, content, um, love. I kept hearing that song um, from like late 80s, early 90s, Saigon Kick, Love is on the Way. I feel like love is finally coming in for you or the person that you're with, it's going to blossom and, and bloom into something beautiful. And I was hearing power couple, power couple. So I feel like it's going to be a strong connection. All right. So Capricorn, let's get into it. Your overall energy we have here and now in higher power. So yeah, see, I feel like you were stuck. It was like opportunities were coming your way, but you weren't seeing either the value in them or they weren't satisfying. If if <laughs> last week's reading for you guys, I feel like it was you can't get no satisfaction was like the song I was hearing for you. It was like no matter what you did, you just couldn't be like happy from within or happy in the spot that you were. And I feel like finally now it's like you open that door, <laughs> all right? You unlocked it and you opened it and now you're going through it. And it's guided by a higher power. So it's like you're manifesting this. You wanted to let something go and finally, finally it's happening for you um, after being stuck for a while. So good. That's good. Good, good, good. Anything else for Capricorn? Horns overall energy tick tock yeah so it was divine timing it may feel like it took forever to get out of that energy um but now it's here it's time it's time all right tick tock all right let's see your person's overall energy capricorn what is their person's overall energy yin oh there's loving caring nurturing um compassionate understanding unconditional love i feel coming from your person this could be a new person this could be a current person that you're with um poised see your person feels wow and serendipity and milk and honey and building blocks and yang wow capricorn Wow, this is going to be a major shift for you, major shift in such a good way. This person, your person, like they feel love for you, like you light up their world, they're super happy, they feel poised just to like be a part of you and with you. Um, you may hold them in high regard or they do with you, uh, Capricorn. I feel like there's a lot of love and care from your person, a lot. And it, you make them feel good, they make you feel good. Um, or finally, it's like your person can sense that that like chain or that those ten of swords have finally like come to an end. Um, building blocks. So I feel like this is something where like you are both building a strong, stable foundation here. Um, then we have the end of the yang. What? <laughs> you guys balance each other out. Power couple. Complete power couple going on here. Serendipity. You might be seeing signs, synchronicities, feeling like your luck has changed. We have milk and honey. It's sweet 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 things are changing for the better for you wow capricorn this is gonna be a good reading and i'm sorry about my dog but she's agreeing with me <laughs> all right let's get into it current energies for capricorn's person capricorn's person what's going on all right so this could be someone from the past past not the one that hurt you 
All right, this could be a reconciliation, um, scorpionic energy here. The Empress, Taurus energy, all right, male or female, it doesn't matter. There's no gender in tarot. But I feel like, again, that's this. This loving, caring, nurturing, abundant, fertile energy, like a new beginning. Uh, for some of you, this could be a reconciliation with someone you have children with or um, someone just that has that, that energy to them. Very grounded, stable, fertile, abundant. All right. Um, Page of Swords. There could be an age difference between the two of you. Um, doesn't have to be. I feel like this person is observing you, watching you. Um, you might be to them. There is Eight of Swords. So this could be like that learning or having some kind of knowledge about how to break free from being stuck. So you and this person actually could have came from similar backgrounds and just kind of understand each other. And now there's like this breaking free, um, having that understanding, seeing things clearly, knowing the karma or the lesson that was there that needed to be learned. All right. And then what is coming out here? The sun, Leo energy the happiest card in the deck you guys happiness happiness I'm almost getting like this person <laughs> like here you are you've been stuck for a while right <laughs> blindfold on hands tied just stuck and this person came here to like cut you free set you free from that energy into pure happiness like the sun is shining the sun is coming out again all right anything else current energies capricorn and their person i saw justice so fairness could be a separation of a contract or a releasing of a contract that was keeping you stuck or bound all right, yep, High Priestess, so Scorpio Pisces energy, intuition, following intuition, moving in silence, or really listening to intuition here. There could be some secrets. Um, this, and hear me out here. Not secrets as in like they're keeping secrets from you. I feel like this person keeps your secrets. You know what I mean? Like you can tell this person anything and they don't judge you. They don't, they're compassionate. They understand you. All right. So I feel like, and that makes you feel free and like things can move into calmer waters. You can finally open up to somebody and trust this. And this person isn't going to, like, use it against you or stab you in the back or tell all their friends. Like, no. I feel like you can trust this person with a lot of stuff. You can be vulnerable. You can be you. You can tell them anything. And, you know, they understand. Wow. Wow. This is a very strong new start for you, Capricorn. And, again, this, this could be a renewal, a reconciliation, or just like a like a renewal with somebody that you have that may have been on the rocks for a while. Wow. All right, what was blocking this? What was blocking this? Blockages for Capricorn and their person. All right, five of swords being conflicted and nine of cups. Yeah, Capricorn, I feel like you were very stuck and you were very conflicted and it was wanting wishes to come true but being frustrated because either they weren't coming the way you were hoping they were coming or they weren't it was like blessings and disguises had to happen like lessons needed to be learned or you had to go through something all right and I feel like you were just looking at it like man things aren't going right for me wishes aren't coming true how come it's like everywhere I turn or every person I date or trust or believe in or, or open up to it's like it backfires on me and it's like I, I feel like you were blocking love you know like you were still doing your thing but subconsciously or energetically you you really were blocked off from it um and I feel like that was being released all right what else blockages blockages yeah you you were either holding back on making a decision or holding on too tight to the past and it was clouding your decision and uh, mm. 
look, something from the past, something from the past gotcha. It got you good, <laughs> Capricorn. It got you good. So much so that it lingered for a while. And I feel like it's taking this person to show their true colors in a way. Like something may have happened, and I'm not saying bad true colors. I'm saying for you to really be like, wow, this person's it. This person does love me. Some Something. This person could even be from the past, someone you've known since childhood or may have children with or something along those lines. Place that where you see fits. Don't force it, though. Okay, what else? Blockages. Blockages. You could have had a big fear of rejection to um, Capricorn. Like, just opening up about who you are as a person or mistakes that you've made or your vulnerabilities or, you know, I feel like there was some kind of blockage there or trust. Uh, Nine of Pentacles. So confidence. Yep, there's that rejection again. For some of you, you were, it's like you needed to be with someone or thought you needed to be with someone to make your self-value, self-worth, like, give you that instead of just spending time alone. But at the same time, it's like people started making you feel rejected or you had a fear of, like, if I be myself and I open up to these people or person, whatever, are they going to judge me? Are they going to reject me? Are they going to think little of me? Are they going to put it? No. No. No, some might, but that's because that's their own issue. Like, you're perfect the way you are, Capricorn. And I feel like you're finally coming into that energy like, love me or hate me, that's just how I am. And I don't care what you think. And the only thing that I care about is what this person thinks because I love them and they love me. Or there's a lot, a lot there. I feel like you're having like, almost like an awakening here from all the crap that you've been through. All right, let's see. How does this person truly feel about you, Capricorn? How do they truly feel about you? Wow. There's attraction, passion, romance, love, a spark, chemistry, and understanding, ideas flowing, a new beginning, victory, success. This person looks up to you. This person puts you on a pedestal. How they're feeling is the energy that they're giving off to you. How you make them feel, they it's like completely reciprocal. Wow. How else do they feel? How else do they feel? How else do they feel about Capricorn? I don't think I've ever had, like, a reading this beautiful for you guys in a while. Like, I'm kind of getting the chills. I want to cry. Grab a tissue. Um, Eight of Pentacles. So they see you as very hardworking, um, career-driven. They do want to put work and effort. They see you putting in work and effort here. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. A lot of wands here. Very fiery, attractive, passionate, um, forward-moving, spontaneous, adventurous. Trying out some new things in the bedroom. I'm just kidding. Well, maybe not. But, yeah, they feel like it's good, Capricorn. This is real good. Soulmate bond, Gemini energy, the lovers. Like, they choose you. They choose you. This person chooses you, Capricorn. How else do they feel? <laughs> Two of Cups. Soulmate bond, that mutual exchange of love. Capricorns, you guys don't always wear your heart on your sleeve, but you deep down, you do love hard. You do. You just don't show it on the surface. And I feel like this person 
sees that. They see into your soul. They see into your heart. They read your energy. They know. And I feel like that's why they're hanging on to you, but not in a bad way. Like, they're stuck to you like glue. How else do they feel about Capricorn? How else do they feel? Four of Wands, 11-11, make a wish, twin flame, soulmate, leveling up, a reason to celebrate, something to do with house and home. This person may want like forever with you. If you're not living together, I feel like they want to live with you or they want to like have that next level of commitment. We now have the Emperor and the Empress, divine counterparts, long term, forever. I feel like you're going to end up spending like the rest of your life with this person, Capricorn. If you haven't met them yet, you will soon. I do feel like it is a, a returning person, though, to reunite someone that you've known. Maybe either since childhood or dated a long time in the past. I feel like this is a return of somebody. You may know exactly who this is. Some of you may not. And this could even be the person that you're with. I'm getting I'm getting it all always, all those ways. Um, but yeah, this person, I feel like they're very like they see you, Capricorn. They see your value, your worth, your hard work, your ethics, your morals, your everything. Your courage, your confidence, your strength. After everything you've been through, they, they value you. Yeah, they want this stable beginning with you. They see you as like Leo energy, very fierce, go-getter, action-oriented, goes after what's the, what they want. Like, I'm sorry about my dog. There's people walking around. It's finally a nice day out. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, potential outcome. Potential outcome. Keep in mind, you have free will, and so do they. So you can change your mind, and they can too. But I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just reading the energies, all right? So Capricorn, potential outcome. Potential outcome for Capricorn. Wow. Page of Swords and Five of Swords in reverse. You're done looking back. You're not conflicted anymore. You know what you want. You're cutting through all of that. You've learned. You've learned, Capricorn. You've learned. No more of this. You're cutting it out. You're cutting it out. This person, I feel like, and you know, I'm not big on like, you know, someone's going to change you or whatever. I feel like this is the person that awakens you to what love really is. All right, what else? Potential outcome. Who is this person? I want to know more. Who is this person? Page of Wands. Ooh. Things are heating up. I feel like when you guys are together, you just have like good ideas. You work well as a team. We have the Death card, Scorpionic Energy. Yep, this is going to transform your life. From being stuck. From being stuck and not seeing things clearly. Expect this big transformation to happen, Capricorn. This just wants to keep showing its face. Like, that's this is what was keeping you stuck. For so long. In past hurt, abandonment, rejection. Someone could have even, like, taken you for money, assets. And it's like, you're too afraid to engage in something like that again. Like, if you were married and this person took advantage of that and took a lot from you, you were, like, too afraid to get that close to somebody again because you were afraid they were going to do what the other person did to you. And it's like, no, this isn't the same person at all. This is different energy. All right, there's a transformation happening right now where you're breaking free from this. In divine timing. 
it's like you needed to go through that to be where you are today, you know? All right, what else? Outcome, 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 outcome. <laughs> yep. Justice, Libra, energy, three of pentacles, and the star, Aquarius, energy. In the pre-shuffle, I saw the star, and I saw the sun, and here they both are. And we have justice. Things are either going to balance out for you, or things are going to go in your favor, or it's going to be fair. All right, whatever that means to you. So if there was contracts or money or assets or divorce or something like that, I feel like things are going to actually bounce back and you're going to be rewarded for whatever it is that you've lost in the past. All right, um, you're going to be on the same page with this person. You're going to take those thoughts, visions, dreams, all of that in the 5D and bring them into the 3D, into reality. I feel like you and this person are going to be on the same page, work as a team, collaborate together. You have the same wants and needs and you're just going to understand each other. Yeah. Yeah. See, things are moving forward for you. Things are moving forward for you. Ace of Pentacles, the hangman. You're getting a whole new different perspective. Things are becoming a lot more clearer for you. All right. You're going to start feeling good about yourself again. Your independence, your confidence, like all of that is going to start shining again for you. Um, there could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, they're healing. They're healing for you. Wow. Yeah. Higher level of commitment. Capricorn, you're not going to be able to deny this connection. It's going to take a little bit. Look for the signs and synchronicities here, all right? You need to pay attention. Um, the universe is trying to send you messages. I'm seeing uh, a lot of threes, three, 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 two, 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 eights. Look up angel number two, two, three, three, and eight, eight separately. And I'm seeing ones, which is a new beginning. Look those up. There could be messages there for you. Yeah, because what are you doing, Capricorn? Here you are. You're walking away. You're walking away from the past. You're looking forward. You're looking forward. Oh, the sun again. The sun again. <laughs> All right. I'm happy for you. This is good. This is a power couple that's happening here. You're not going to be disappointed because you finally opened it up. All right. So um, obstacles are things you don't see. Tuning in and healing. You got to go within and look for the signs and synchronicities. Meditate, journal, walks in nature, fishing, coloring, cleaning, whatever your... Uh, <laughs> Whatever your uh, choice is there for um, listening to your intuition, okay? Um, and healing. This is very healing. I don't think you see that coming yet. Or didn't, at least. Conditioning, yep. Yeah. Yeah, Capricorn. Whatever it was that you were in in the past, I f I'm feeling very like in a controlling or narcissistic type energy. Um, there was conditioning that this person, past person, put upon you, okay? Um, and it's been taking a while for you to undo that conditioning. Um, beliefs that this person made you feel about yourself, you're worthless, you're not good enough, you're never going to make it without me, everything you do is wrong, like the projections that this other person put on you that scarred you. And you're finally coming out of it. So look for signs and synchronicities about this connection because they're sending them. They're sending them. It could be me giving you this message. It could be numbers that you're seeing. It could be just signs. You keep bumping into this person or seeing them on social media or someone keeps talking about them or bringing their name up or I don't know. But pay attention, okay? Um, you can even ask for a sign, a specific sign, and then give it a few days. I'm going to do a video on that too because it happens to me. All right, what else do we have for Capricorn? The uh, karmic partner, conventional relationship, duty, bound by societal conventions. Masculine, your divine masculine, your twin or soulmate is seeking you. 
unawakened, unaware, 3D ego, darkness, your twin flame is not ready yet. And the answer to your question is no. So if you're trying to go back, Capricorn, the person you're releasing, if you're still stuck on that a little bit, no. That person was unawakened. That was a karmic. There was lessons for you to learn there, all right? No. No. That's done. Close that chapter out. I feel like you are. Most of you. Some of you may not be yet, but you're getting there. Close that cycle out because you have something amazing or someone amazing coming towards you. Look, yes. Romance. Union. You got to let it in. Let it happen, Capricorn. Let your guard down. Let your walls down. All right. What else? What else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn? Boat. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. And closure issues. Finally, you're closing that chapter. Love. Unconditional love. Self-love. Oneness. Passion. Affection. Attraction. And date. Meeting someone new. Date. Get back out there. Plan. Set a date. Wedding freaking rings. Check it. This person could be the one that you marry or remarry or newly marry. <laughs> not marrying the same person. Not Well, you could, but not that last person. I feel like there was toxic mm, and it, it kept you stuck for a long time, Capricorn, and you're finally breaking those chains. And this person is showing you the way. That's a soul deep soul bond that you have with this other person here, whoever they are. Anyway, that is what I have for you, Capricorn. Please